Now we come to use number 10 of these 3M 775L Cubitron film back stick it discs, and that is in using them in drum sanders. So I have always used larger drum sanders when I'm trying to fare a pretty uh, large curve, and these things work fantastic. So what I do is it's very similar to the disc that we made for the disc sander that we talked about in use number nine. I um, I think I laminated two pieces together. I want a piece that's an inch thick so I can sand three quarter material. So I just, I sanded it around and then I countersunk the bottom. And then I took this um, mandrel, which really helps this thing run true. And I just put a screw through the bottom. Ooh, that's tight. And then I screw this on really tight and then I attach sandpaper around the perimeter. So how I do that is I make relief cuts. I made these every, uh, I divide this in thirds. This is about five inch diameter. And let me show you how I do that. So I take a disc, I take a disc and I just cut it one inch strips. So I just take my ruler and I always do this from the back. It's much easier to do it from the back. I make my cuts, I'll just do one here. I make my cuts. And then I'll square up one end here. I'll square up both ends. And then I peel this back. I peel this back. And then I stick it down inside of this, down inside of here, this one slot. And then I wrap it around. And I try to keep it, yeah, there you go. And if it's a little longer than the, the, the next slot, I just cut it off. I get some scissors and I'll just cut that off. And that will. And then I can do this with several pieces. Then I can add the other pieces. And it's okay if there's a little gap between them because that actually is actually helps get uh, give the sawdust a place to go. It doesn't affect the performance of it at all. You just have to make sure that you get your pieces going the right way or they'll just pull up. So let me go ahead and chuck this up in the drill press and I'll show you how it works. Oh, by the way, you can also use this paper and just wrap around these small uh, rubber drum sanders. It works great. You just stick a piece on, wrap it over, overlap it, just quarter, half an inch, and it'll be great. And when you do that, you can actually use grits that go down because these grits, either you get a rough, pretty rough or a medium grit with the lap with this 3M stuff. You can get grits down to 400 and you can really polish wood with it. So let me chuck this one up in the drill press and I'll show you how it works. So I have the drum chucked up in the drill press. You will notice that there's a little table here so that the drum can sit below the surface so that I can sand you know, the complete edge of a board. Now this is a curve, this is a shelf bracket that I'm making. This has a gentle curve here. And this gentle curve, I could never do this with a small drum sander or even by hand, it would take a long time. So, but this larger drum will do a fantastic job with that. And, they, and even these larger drums do a better job on convex curves. Just, they just do. So let me show you how this works. So I just sanded this curve and now it is perfectly fair. I can't feel any bumps at all in it. So there you have it. 3M Stick It 775L film back discs used in sanding drums. We now come to use number 11 for these 3M 775L film back Cubitron Stick It sanding discs. And that is to use as an anti-slip surface for jigs and fixtures. So like this jig is a router jig, and if I want parts to not slide around, I can just take a, uh, cut a disc in half, and I could stick it right on there, and that would keep stuff, I'd probably put stuff on each half, probably cut it down a little bit. You could stick that there, and now your part's not gonna move around. Or like this loose tenon jig, I could put some, uh, sandpaper on the on the fence here and that would keep it from shifting kind of a little tip I probably wouldn't use anything rougher than 120 120 actually works pretty good anything finer doesn't really work as well and if it's rougher than that it could leave little marks in your work so there you have it using the 3m 775l stick it film back disc as an anti-slip surface 
for jigs and fixtures.